some of the biggest cliffs in the world. And in the past, we've always done ski base jumps and kept our skis on and done really short delays. What we've always wanted to do is go off a terminal cliff. Terminal meaning you reach terminal velocity. So go off the cliff, do some flips or something, rip your skis off, and then fly away in a wingsuit. What we were doing last winter was the wingsuit ski base kind of stunt. But now we're here in the summertime with regular wingsuits to jump off some of the biggest cliffs in the world. We came over here specifically to learn how to fly our wingsuits off of cliffs and learn how to proximity fly and just learn as much as we can from these Norwegians and as much as we can from Luik. At the beginning of wingsuit base jumping, we were trying to get as far from the wall as possible. So basically clearing up the whole thing, and now it's getting boring, so we play around. I'll never forget that. I'll never forget seeing these guys that I've been watching in the base jumping movies, doing it in person, just buzzing the walls, like scraping their fingernails just about on, on ledges at 100 miles an hour. How close to the road do you think you'll get? Uh, but here, <laughs> hopefully. Flying a wingsuit is kind of just how you would imagine flying, you know, if, if, you, if you've ever dreamt about flying, you just kind of probably dream of just soaring around and you just kind of go wherever you look and you keep your arms out and just, just do it. Probably one of the most impressive things on the trip was just seeing Espen fly that close to the ground, buzzing the road. You know, any little stick or bush or, you know, rock protruding could have, you know, could have got him. But, you know, he, he knew right where he was going and he'd scouted the line. He'd done it a few times before, so it was all good.